to go 10 Lisa you want to know what's the one thing an empty nester does um, like what they did when they were single especially a single empty nester they have lunch by themselves that's right have lunch and do things by themselves well today I am going to have lunch with you guys and just talk over some stuff and this is my chipotle lunch my chipotle lunch so they put a lot of guac and sour cream on here yep that's lunch for today and guess what guys I also have a bubble tea that's right bubble tea at the bubble tea bubble place as, as an empty nester you know when your kid is past the teenage phase and they're entering adulthood but yet they think they can handle it all like Tariq but not really like Tariq on power and don't want to tell you stuff mm -hmm. that's, that's my son uh, it's on a uh oh I'm making a mess here it's pretty much on a um, need-to-know basis um, he figures with me um, so oh Mm -hmm. it's just crazy the things I had to do as a mother just to get information and being a Scorpio mom <laughs> it's like I'm a detective yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. it's just funny how things change you raise your kid and they tell you everything when they were little and then they get to a teenage, horrible teenage years and they don't want to tell you anything. Now when they're out of teenage years, it's like, okay, minimal. But I'm the kind of mother that needs to know everything. Everything. Hmm. Am I the only one out there that feels that way? Hmm. Am I the only one who has a child that doesn't share everything? I don't know. Oh. I just wanted to have lunch with you guys and talk about how I was feeling being an empty nester mom. Mm. Have you guys ever had a bubble tea before? This is mango with the mango bubbles. Or did I get passion fruit? Passion fruit bubbles at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. See the little bubbles? It's good. Now that's my first sugary drink. It's nice and refreshing for the summer that I've had since doing the master cleanse. I've done the master cleanse for six days. Um, I'll tell you all that going on the master cleanse is hard, but coming off of it is harder because you still have to drink the lemonade and follow all that kind of stuff just to get your body regulated back again. So I'm eating chipotle, had a, um, a chicken salad bowl, and I've just been eating um, salad, eating light ever since the master cleanse. And one of my hardest struggles is losing the weight. <laughs> it's hard. It doesn't help when I'm eating out. I don't eat out as much. But in my mind, I'm like tricking my mind to say, at least you're eating a salad. You know, you have a little bit of guac, which is like healthy fat, corn. The cheese is a, the bad thing here. The chicken, brown rice, and salad. So I think I'm doing okay. I did lose a few pounds while on the master cleanse. Mm hmm. I just have to maintain that and lose more. 
I have some tortilla chips, which I never really finished. So, I just want to say thank you. Thank God that I have my fur babies here with me. Keep me company. You know, love them. They love me. And I'm so thankful for all of you guys out there as well. On Go Ten Lisa, which is this channel, I want to reach my goal of 10 subscribers. So you guys watching my video out there, share, like, comment, subscribe, and so I can reach my first goal of 10 subscribers. Can you do that for me? It's a hustle, guys. It's a hustle. Even Wendy Williams yesterday was saying that a person has to have five side jobs, five side hustle just to make ends meet. You know? These days. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to work. Nobody wants to work. And if they do want to work, they want to work for themselves and make that money, make that coin. You know what I mean? But I did call my son and tell him that I did go to the bubble tea shop. And he was like, good for you. Of course, he's busy, busy, busy. Can't talk. What the heck is he doing all the time when he's so busy? I guess he's trying to prove to me that he has a life. I mean, he does have a life. And he is living his life. And I'm living my life. But it's like morning, noon, and night. He's busy. So, as a mom, I gotta do what I gotta do. So be it. Hmm. So, as an empty nester, one of the things that you're gonna do if you're not married is that you're gonna have lunch by yourself. It's kind of like when you're single all over again and doing stuff. It's like time is reversing to the point that you're doing stuff that you did when you were single, but not really, because now you have more knowledge. Now you look different. So being an empty nester, it's like, wow. It's like I gave birth, birthed him out, raised him, and then that's it. It's like it's over. Like I did my job, and it's like, now what? <laughs> now what is to have that Mr. Right out there find me you know, find the right guy out there and, um, you know, you know, that's my future. And, and even if it doesn't happen, guys, I'm okay with that. I think it's especially hard in Atlanta, in Georgia period. I just have to be so careful on a whole because you know men lie. <laughs> but that's universal <laughs> so I don't know what the good Lord has in store but um, all I know is that I'm just going to continue doing my YouTube continue to hustle and um, at the end of the day, I'm doing these videos, my channels for me, my family. And I'm so glad to invite you Go10 fam members along and for the ride. And just sharing my little, my, little, 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 little old life with y'all. <laughs> so. Another thing as an empty nester is that you start thinking about the future a lot. And you start thinking about retirement. 
you start thinking about travel. And today, when I was going to get my Chipotle, because it's so far um, from where I live, um, I was like, man, I'm having Chipotle for lunch. If I was in Jamaica, mm, I'm gonna have some good, nice box chicken lunch right now. Mm. Or some, some fried chicken or curry goat or something. One thing about us Jamaicans, we can eat good. And the whole island is full of healthy stuff. Every tree, plant, everything is healthy. But you know, like everybody else from different countries, we all come to America because it's bigger and better um, for better stuff, you know. And is it really bigger and better? I miss the serenity of Jamaica. I go. I miss the food. All you need in Jamaica is money. That's all you need. If you have money, you can go out there and retire and live good. It's all money. I mean, that's everywhere, but... Um, hopefully next year, hopefully God's willing next year, um, take a trip down there. And show you guys how beautiful it is. Well, I just want to stop in and have a little lunch talk with you guys. Why don't you guys tell me what you did if you're an empty nester, a single mom empty nester, what you did, and what are you doing as an empty nester? What are you doing to fill your days besides working, working, working? What are you doing? Share, comment. I would love to know and love to know and love to know. All right, guys, I'm going to finish my lunch. And I'm so glad you were able to stop by. Don't forget to, sub to subscribe. Help me reach my goal of 10 subscribers. And then after 10, reach 100. Just keep going. Like, comment, share. My Go10 family. See you next time. Bye.